Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ash Productions going through some of your Sony Vegas tutorial suggestions. Here we go. First comment we have is from Mr. J Milne and he says, how do you cut clips? Well, that's pretty simple to do and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Now for this example, I've just imported a random video clip that I have on my computer. Then drag it into your timeline. As you should be able to see on this video clip, at the beginning of the video, there is in fact a watermark. So if I wanna get rid of this watermark or whatever, you literally just find out where it ends so you'll see in the next few seconds I'm going to zoom in I'm going to find out yep it ends here and I'm going to make a note of that position and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in like so and then all you do then is you just press S on your keyboard that's the letter S on screen now and it will cut the clip at this point you can manipulate the audio the video you can delete the clip and whatever you want to do so just remember to press the S key button then you can do whatever you like with your timeline. The next suggestion we have is from somebody called Crazy Videos 50 and they said, how do you get a YouTube video on Sony Vegas? Do you drag it or something? Well, let's find out. You were almost there. Basically what you do is you find a YouTube video that you would like to take. You go to the URL and you right click and press copy. Next, you would like to go to a website called en.savefrom.net. And when you're on this website, simply just paste the URL of the video you've just copied into that press download and it will give you the option to select either 360p, 720p or whatever resolution that's available on that particular video and then all you do is press save to wherever you like in this example I just saved it straight to my desktop and then when you've done this you can literally just open up Sony Vegas go file import media and you select that video that you downloaded like so So if you see I go file import media I'm on my desktop I scroll down, I find that video, I press open, and there it is, drag it into the timeline, press yes, and then boom, there you have your YouTube video. Next up we have a question from Scourge3650, hey can you overlap the audio in this? Because I'm trying to start a series, and while some of the lines will be overlapping, where well, you can hear them both, also with background music, and I was wondering if it could do that. I think I understand what you're trying to say and here we go this is how you do it okay so what you do is you have your video file obviously in the project media place at the top of the screen you can see on the right hand side make sure you have a video track and a few audio tracks notice specifically as I import this video clip you see the audio track underneath and the video track on top so I'll just put an extra one in so in the in the blue line we have the video track we also have the audio and yeah, basically what you do now is you can mute the master audio track of the video file that you imported. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna import some ambient background noise. You should be able to hear that if I've edited this, edited this video correctly. And yeah, so we have that background noise. So now we can trim it down to you know the size that we want delete that bit and then we have a, the sound of like a dragon that I just found on Newgrounds. Listen to this. <laughs> How friggin creepy is that? Right, so we're going to put that on top of the other sound. So basically it works like layers. So you have your background noise and the main noise. So then if I go ahead and line it up, I, I want like the beginning bit to be an ambient noise as you can hear. And then all of a sudden you'll hear the dragon. And that is pretty much all there is to overlapping audio. Uh, what else could you want to know? Basically, normally what you want to do is if you have background noise, you want to go ahead and lower the sound of the main noise, which is the dragon in this case. So now you... So then obviously you can actually hear the background noise and the main noise. And then all you do then is you just render that file and you'll have a video clip with multi layers of audio. Jack Medicine says, when I put in a text, it doesn't show the video. It shows just the text and a black outline. With Sony Vegas, it's very important to get the layers right, as I mentioned previously, when talking about audio layers. But this time we're gonna talk about text. So what you've probably encountered is, you know, you're able to paste in your text, you're able to say like, title or in this case, testing text. 
and now we have this text generation here. So, as you can see, we have video layers again. So with this one, we're going to want to drag the main video down and put the text on top. Because if you don't put it on top of the video, you will not see it on top of the video in the actual video. You might not be able to understand what I'm saying, but I'm going to show you practically now. So, when we move the video layer of the original file to the top and the text layer underneath it, when I go ahead and play the video, like so, you cannot see the testing text. So the solution to this is quite easy. All you do is you drag the main video down one layer, you put the text layer on top of the layer that you want it, and now, just like this, you press play, and you can see on top, testing text. There really isn't that much to it. All you've just got to do is remember your layers, okay? Remember that it does work like layers. So wherever the, test, the text is on top, it will be on top. It's not just, it doesn't just have layers for no reason. Make sure you utilize these. Then you can do things like rotate the text and move it around and then get pretty fancy with the Sony Vegas and impress your mates. Ian Smith said, how do you trim video length? This is probably one of the most simple things to do ever on Sony Vegas. All you do is you get your video clip, you put it on your timeline, you find the right or the left hand end of the video clip and you just drag it. That's all you do with the mouse, just drag it and that will shorten and lengthen it. Obviously if you lengthen it too much, you will actually duplicate the video so it will play again and again and again. So it's sort of like looping but you can control how many times. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Legendary Lion says, how do you do something to only one part of a video without doing it to the rest? For example, lowering your audio for only a certain section of a video. Another fairly simple one, all you do is you focus on the audio layer of your selected video clip. So as you can see here, I have my original video file. So then I'm going to go ahead and select an area that I want to manipulate the audio from. So you press S to split the clip. So I split the clip and obviously the left hand side I'm going to decrease the volume and on the right hand side, so the middle audio track will be louder, like so. It's good to score, but it's not always possible to score. But it's always possible to start with the right uh with the right approach and uh, even if uh, and there we have it we have changing audio levels and don't forget you can do loads of fun things with audio so you can you know make slow motion so it's like hello how are you and then you can do ultra fast it all depends on what you want to do but just remember to split the clips up score. if you listen here's an example of slow motion that is always possible to start and yeah just have a play around with that and finally, Hypesalot says, how do you make a movie trailer screen? You know, top and bottom are black, can't figure it out. I'm trying to make a movie trailer. Go ahead and import the video that you want to make look pretty cool and like it's at the movies. And then when you have your video imported into your timeline, you would like to be looking at the top right of the clip and you should see an event pan crop icon that I'm about to click on. And then when you click on this, a new window should appear which should allow you to alter the video and therefore make it look cinematic and pretty goddamn cool. So now I've clicked on it, a new window has appeared. On the left hand side, make sure these two icons, look closely, are not selected because if they are you won't be able to do what I'm about to do. So deselect both of them. Now you should be able to play with the event window, like so. If you drag it down, it looks more like a cinematic style video. On the right hand side, you can see what it actually is doing to it. So now it looks like an intense interview. So you get the picture. You can play with this. You can, you know, expand and make it as wide as you want. Or you can, you know, do what we've just done now, which is very, very narrow. Which looks like you're trying to focus on him. Just have a play with this and add some dramatic sound effects, maybe some explosions and eventually you'll get the trailer that you're looking for. Thanks very much for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with another Sony Vegas tutorial style video. Obviously every single tutorial that I did in this video was requested in the comments below. So if you'd like to see a video with anything you would like to see done in Sony Vegas, leave a comment below and you can be sure it's probably gonna get done. So stay subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video.